It is a cold morning in Mongolia and Dashchevek Dorsuran prepares milk tea, just as his ancestors have done for centuries. The first offering always goes to the sun. In this extremely harsh climate, the sun is the source of all life. This nomadic family of three generations lives in a temporary compound of tents known as Gurs. A herd of several dozen goats, sheep and yaks are their livelihood, providing milk, wool and meat. It's a life without much comfort. There is no infrastructure, no roads, no utilities. But still, the Dostoevic family got recently connected to the outside world. They now have electricity to charge mobile phones or watch TV, thanks to solar energy. So this is where our solar panels are. Here's one panel, and this one we have acquired through a government project. When it's straight up, it can catch sun almost all day long. For the first time, 100,000 nomadic herder families can watch TV and switch on lights powered by a solar home system, made possible by a massive government project and the support of the World Bank. The project designed a system that is simple, rugged and easy to install. When families pack up and move their tent, the electricity is back right away. Herders Batar Kanda and his son Engtavan Batar have come to buy a solar home system in this small appliance store in the northwestern Mongolian town of Moron. It's a private dealership that serves as one of the project's many sales and service centers in Mongolia's 21 provinces. Half the cost of each solar home system is provided through international donor funds, the other half has to be paid by the herders roughly the value of two goats. It is wonderful that the country is developing. A few years ago, country herders used to manage their life with candles and lanterns. The change in the life of herders between then and now is like night and day. Personally, I believe that the quality of life in the countryside and the city are now about the same. And the new lifestyle pays off when herders sell products such as cashmere wool, they have learned about the going prices on TV and radio. They can sell at the right time for the right price and earn more money. In just a decade, the program has managed to provide solar electricity to herder families in every remote corner of Mongolia. And thanks to solar power, the evenings have become longer under electric light. Somehow, the new lifestyle meshes with long-held traditions that men should live in harmony with the sun. In the olden days, during the time of Genghis Khan, everything had to follow the path of the sun. The snuff bottle had to be handed on sunwise. A new generation still beholden to the sun, not only to light up their days, but now their future as well. <laughs>